Hello YouTube, this is Ian559Fresno and today I'm going to teach you how to activate your iPhone 3G or 3GS, whatever version it's on. Hacktivating. It's um, basically if you don't have an AT&T SIM card or your SIM card reader isn't working and you can't activate your iPhone in iTunes. Um, this is what Hacktivating is used for. Hacktivation, whatever you want to call it. Um, you see the screen, your iTunes logo might be different, but you see basically an iTunes with USB and a little slider at the bottom. If there's no slider, then this video is not for you. Alright, so let's get started with the hacktivation. You're going to need to download um, two things. One is Red Snow. I cannot say the version only because it really depends on what version your iPhone is on. So you're like, oh, I don't know, my iPhone isn't showing it. Um, open up iTunes, and uh, we'll find out right now. Make sure it's all plugged in. See, it's coming up. Uh oh, there's no SIM card, no problem. Uh, it's not going to tell me, is it? So now you're like, oh, I don't know. You're just going to have to go and get a program called Tiny Umbrella. So uh, I'm getting it out of the recycle bin because I just had it, but... Um, I'm going to have the link in the description for Tiny Umbrella under my video, just pretend it's right here. Down here you'll see something that says show more, click that and you'll see all the links. Alright, open up Tiny Umbrella, click yes, and this will start like running. If it doesn't open, that means you don't have Java installed, install Java by Google searching Java. Alright, so you didn't, iTunes wouldn't show you what version your phone on and you're probably like, oh that sucks. No problem. Right here. Um, you're going to go right here where it says connected devices. Click on it. Then go down here at the bottom. So it says device model blah 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 iPhone 3G and then down under that installed firmware version 3.1.2. Yours might say something else. So that's what version you're on. I'm going to have a jailbreak table which is going to show you what version of Red Snow you're going to need to hacktivate. Uh, in the description, just click the description and I'll have a link with the whole table showing you what versions for what iPhone, you know, what Red Snow to use. Alright, since I am on 3.1.2, I need to use Red Snow uh, 0 0.9.6 beta 6 and uh, click open, select your firmware. Uh oh, it says unable to recognize specified IPSW. I think I got the wrong. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm supposed to use Red Snow 0.9.4 since I'm on 3.1.2. So I'm going to open that up, click yes. And then I'm going to click browse. And right here, a dialog box is going to come up. You need to find the firmware for your version iPhone 1, 2, 3.1.2. See, I'm on 3.1.2. And uh, 1, 2 means 3G. 2, 1 means 3GS. 1, 1 means 2G, you know, the first iPhone with the silver metal back. And 3, 1 means iPhone 4. Alright, click open. Let's see, click on that, and it'll say processing and then IPSW successfully identified. Now you're going to go down and click next. You'll see this patching kernel. Just uh, be patient and wait. Alright, so we're going to see, you're going to see install Cydia, Verbose, Butte, Custom, whatever, all that. Okay, so this is where activating comes in. If you are on like 4.0 or something, you might see an uh, option where it says uh, deactivate. That's the same thing as hacktivating, hacktivation. Select that. Since I don't see that, I'm going to select install Cydia. And then I'm going to click next. It's going to say please make sure the device is off and uh, uh, plugged into the computer. Alright. So it is uh, plugged into the computer. Just need to power it off. Oh, 
All right, when that's off, you should probably hear a noise. All right, click next. Hold the power button for two seconds. Now you can hold both the power and the home button for 10 seconds. The device will power off. At least it should. See, mine's was a little late, no problem. Now you're gonna release the power button and continue holding the home button for about 30 seconds might be less. You'll hear a little beeping noise if your volume is up. And then you can let go once it changes. So you'll see waiting for reboot and all that stuff. No problem, just let it run. And all of this. No problem. Alright, just let the device sit for a little bit and it should be done soon. And just let it run, see flashing door and all that, you should say done on uh, red snow, no problem, now you have to wait for your iPhone. I'd recommend leaving it plugged in though. All right, so it looks like it's finally done. Your device is gonna power back up. You can click finish on red snow. Alright, so it should be powering up soon, and you should see that. So you probably saw it for a little second, and then it went away. So the device is activated and jailbroken. So I hope you liked this video. Um, please comment, rate, subscribe. Uh, if you have any questions, just uh, feel free to let me know. Just uh, remember that the Red Snow version depends on what version your iPhone is on. And um, should be good. If you didn't click Install Cydia, you can go back and then select Install Cydia. That's a better way of doing it. It will prevent uh, problems. But uh, if you have no choice, it's not a bad option. If you do get problems with uh, push notifications, you can Google search it. There's something called SAM. And uh, I can make a video on that later, uh, but you should be fine. I uh, hope you like this video, so just please comment, rate, subscribe, you know, comment, thanks, it worked, or I need some help, you know, you can, whatever you need to comment about.
I'm sure someone can help you out. And uh, subscribing is uh, free. It'll show, message you every time I upload a video. Maybe you'll find something interesting in the future. And uh, if you could click the like button, like by the video right here in the right corner, I believe. They always change it. Uh, it'd mean a lot to me, so the ratings go up. Thank you. Bye.